Good morning guys, it's a beautiful day in New York. I am popping over to Gregory's Coffee, hence the mask, I'm all like ready to go. I just threw on some clothes, haven't done skincare, makeup or anything yet. Gonna go grab a coffee to bring here to have back at the room with the coffee cake I got the other day. I've been keeping it fresh in the fridge. So yeah, let's go get some coffee. dressed and ready for the day. I'm wearing my necklace that I made myself at Shop the Milk Club on Instagram. This rib cropped hoodie and these pants that I thrifted in Boston. I'll step back in a sec so you guys can see. And then the usual tote, my lactose intolerant suit keyring, sunscreen, as you guys know. And uh, yeah, just one braid, asymmetrical braid today, just one plait here. I have a couple of ideas of what I wanna do today but you guys will just have to see. The weather is very nice today, so let's get going. the butcher's daughter I've just ordered and I've got this lovely little like um, outdoorsy little table. I got a hibiscus cake because it looked so interesting. I've never had a hibiscus cake. And here is my bowl. It's a uh, roasted potatoes, tofu scramble, spinach and other stuff. It looks really good. Exactly what I felt like. to another second street location. Oh, sorry, that was my strap in the left frame. back from thrifting today I popped into Whole Foods and I got this bowl for dinner which I just heated up because this hotel has a refrigerator and a microwave very tasty it is just this plant-based bowl with a garden meatballs here is my dessert I have these dream pops birthday cake flavor something about Australia is that we don't really have birthday cake flavored things and if we do it's definitely American inspired it's not like a common flavor basically and I'm watching Food Network of course hey guys so it's my fourth Full day here in NYC, Big Apple, city that never sleeps, empire state of mind. I'm wearing a very mid-2000s inspired look today. I have this 
high neck black long sleeve top because it's still a little chilly and it does get very chilly in the shade and in the evenings, you know. I have that layered underneath this very like 2005, six, seven tank top that I thrifted on eBay. And then also you might not be able to tell because they're both black. They're very, they're almost identical fabrics actually. I have a black shrug. This is a ballet shrug. The ballet shrugs have long enough arms, so the best quality, and they have thumb holes. So I have that layered over for extra warmth. These pants I thrifted as well. Super baggy. I'm wearing them low-waisted and my black sneakers. I was thinking of pairing this outfit with those black platform docks, but it just didn't go as well as these sneakers. And then this bag, and like ideally I'd use my black little shoulder bag that I often wear, but it's just too small. I really tried to fit all my stuff in it and I can't. And I just feel better when I have all the things I need, like my cameras and bits and bobs and things. Easy to grab like my Metro card and things like that and my camera. Some rings, Stinky Jewels necklace. You actually can see the black heart a lot better in proper lighting. You can really see the contrast in like texture because it's like shiny and everything, but just in this lighting, you just kind of, um looks a bit invisible. And then of course my wraparound dad style sunnies, which I really think suit the vibe for today. So yes, that is today's look. My sister was clowning on me recently, sending me messages like, you've caught the New York City bug, that East Coast bug. And I'm like, maybe I have caught the New York City bug because I have been here before, but not independently where I could go around and do all the things I wanted, you know, especially if you go with your family when you're a lot younger, you don't have that freedom. But I've been having so much fun and like I'm finding the subway really easy because I, I did a bit of research, like literally watch like two YouTube videos, that's all you need. So that's been going really well and today's plans are more thrifting, food, just exploring, wandering around, all those kinds of things. Tonight I do know though I'm having dinner with Brandon again, which I'm really excited about. We're going to be meeting in the West Village. There's actually a bunch of shopping that he recommended I'm going to check out and so many good vegan food places. I'm really excited to take you guys along and show you, so let's get going. I'm here at Terms of Endearment. It's a fully plant-based bakery and cafe. Here I have the curried chicken sandwich and instead of a croissant, I asked to have it put on their focaccia. I also got an iced coffee and a little treaty, which I will show you in a second. Stop. Crossroads Trading Company. We actually went here the other day when I was with Brandon, but didn't get a good look, so I'm gonna get a good look today. is Buffalo Exchange. Let's go. So at that previous vintage store that I just popped into, that wasn't actually on my list wasn't very good. A bit chaotic and not really that much stuff my style, I could just tell. Did have a look at a few sections, but now I'm actually headed to a Beacon's Closet that came highly recommended by Brandon. He knows the best places. Everywhere he's suggested has been insanely good. So you guys should definitely follow him on Instagram, follow him on TikTok for all the best recommendations. Okay, next stop, here we are, Beacon's Closet. sat 
down here in McCarran Park. Got my favorite. Here is the pop tart that I got from Terms of Endearment. That looks really good. I think this is strawberry. <laughs> Hey guys, so I stopped back at my hotel room. It's 3.43 and I'm going to be heading out again shortly, but I wanted to pick up these shorts that I got yesterday for Brandon because he's after some plain black baggy shorts. And I found these at Buffalo Exchange yesterday, so I got them for him and they also have some other gifts in the pockets. Capricorn ring. We were sort of talking about star signs. We're both not really believers. We just think it's fun. And the other pocket, I just got him this mineral sunscreen clip-on from Whole Foods. This actually was labeled as a new product because the other day he was in such a hurry to get out the door when we were hanging out that he forgot to put sunscreen on. So when I saw this, I thought of him. So I'm going to bring them for him this evening for dinner. I'm probably gonna leave in like 10 minutes or even sooner because I'm going to be doing some thrifting beforehand because he gave me lots of recommendations. We are oot and a boot again. Gonna hop on the one downtown to L Train Vintage. That's where we're starting. going back to where I started sort of not quite but I'm going to other stores now I know this is exciting information for you guys I'm getting tired and my back is starting to hurt so I like can't wait to just go sit down somewhere it's funny because I can like go running or walking but it's different when you're not in your proper like shoes designed specifically for that you know New York Street. Look at the fire escapes. It's New York. Forget about it. Coming up on my next location. Honestly, I probably walk past it. We're at Vegan Grill. I'm with Brandon, and we have. Crunch wrap and a turkey sub, and this is using the brand Unreal, and they're one of those super new plant based meat companies. So I'm very excited about this. We have our ice cream. I got a mini sundae with Brandon's recommendation. It's the vegan cookie crumble strawberry jam. And I got it with vegan whip, I got it with walnuts and the fudge and everything. So tasty. And then Brandon got um, also a vegan peanut butter brownie honeycomb. Peanut butter brownie honeycomb. Yeah, they look really cute because we got different colored cups. Okay, so outfit of the day. So I got this with you the other day at Artisan Fleas. And this is a piece from my own label. It's a lactose piece. These are some thrifted, like, culottes. These are some Nike shoes that I got that look gooey gooey at the bottom. Got my corset, and then this vintage um, skater tee, and then this lactose necklace. necklace, and then this Capricorn. <laughs> Cap ring. And yeah. bag by Margiela. And bag Paper. by Margiela. Paper bag by Margiela. <laughs> <laughs> tell you what, guys, these older cameras from oh gosh when is this from like the mid 2000s late 2000s anyway they are so robust not just in the make of them but this battery i haven't had to change the whole trip well okay i don't use this camera very much so maybe that's it but still you would think older technology like you have to replace the battery so often and this is the little bag i keep it in I am all set to go for today i'm wearing my adidas t-shirt these pants these shoes, Stinky Jewels necklace, because I just love it so much. And here, 
are my rings. It's my last full day here and it's bittersweet. I'm really gonna miss New York. I've just been having so much fun and exploring like, should I move to New York? Just for maybe a couple months, which isn't really moving, I guess it's just like an extended trip. If you guys have been following me for quite a while, in 2015 I stayed in the US for three months. So I was like, maybe I could do that again, but East Coast or just three months in New York. I don't know, I have all these ideas, but who knows what will actually happen. Today's plans will be exploring more the uptown area, but first item on the agenda is getting a New York bagel from a place that's like just a couple of minutes away from me and they have a vegan cream cheese. They have a couple of flavors. I actually watched a YouTube video reviewing the vegan bagels and this one was like the number one recommended I think. So I was like, oh, I'm so excited to get this bagel. So let's go get a New York bagel. back to my hotel room so I'd have somewhere to sit and eat this and also because it's really close by. So I have my coffee, I just got an oat latte and here's my bagel, let's take a look. I love how it's um, wrapped in like in the paper bag and everything, it feels very authentic. I got an everything bagel with the tofu vegan cream cheese, the veggie cream cheese because that looked really tasty. Oh my gosh, I already got like a little taste of it. <gasps> so good. First of all, that bagel was insane. Here in New York, I have had so many amazing 10 out of 10 best things I've ever eaten moments. And I did in Boston a couple of times as well. Like the food on this trip has been amazing. So when I was at the bagel spot, here's a little thing that happened to me. Basically, I went out intending to sort of go get my bagel, eat there, then go on for the day. There was nowhere to sit in the bagel place, of course. It was super busy. So I looked for a park on, the, on my maps and I started walking to one. And as I got closer, it started to get a little sketch. The vibes were just not good. So I said to myself, you know what? I am just gonna go back to the hotel. So I started walking back there and I realized I'm going back past the bagel place so I can get another bagel to put in the fridge here at the hotel and then I can have it tomorrow before my flight or when I get to the airport. Because one thing I've learned is that you should never count on, well for me at least, with in terms of like vegan options, you shouldn't count on getting food at the airport because you could be running late, the queues could be long. So I have started packing lunch the day before. So I got a blueberry bagel with the plain vegan cream cheese and I'm already so excited to eat this. I'm gonna put this in my little lunchbox, pop it in the fridge, and then we're gonna get going for the rest of the day. Beelining to the ocean section, underwater creatures, because that is like the number one reason I came here. And I also paid to see the special shark exhibit. Ooh, I'm excited. strawberry shortcake which is like a very famous thing that they have and look at that I've actually never had an American style strawberry shortcake so I'm very excited about that and then I have just an iced chai and look at this lovely view I have with a lovely outdoor table on this beautiful day
kind of shiny. Uh, anyway, I am super tired. My feet hurt, my calves hurt, and my I can't even, I, I don't really know. I can't think properly because I'm just tired, but all I can think is packing. I need to get ready for my flight tomorrow, so I'm in just like preparation mode. I think this wraps up this day in the vlog. And when I see you guys again, it will be tomorrow at the airport because I'm heading back to LA for the next chapter of the trip, which is gonna be very exciting. So please stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm.